Welcome to this demo of how to enter a new song or item into the AutoQ Pro database. On the opening screen you will see the last database used. Click Use Current Database. To select a different database, click Settings, Database and Folders, and now we can see the databases. We will double click My Database, the one we created in the earlier demo you can see it is set as the current database. Click Close. To enter a new song, we click on Items, Edit Database. You can see there is one dummy record. Do not delete this yet. Click on the button to enter a new record in the database and enter the title and the artist. This can be any wording you want but normally it is the title and the artist. To select the RTF file we are going to use, there is a box at the top of the screen showing the available RTFs. Double click the one you want to use. The same for the audio file. You can see above these two boxes it shows the location of these files. You can now save the record or abort it we will save. You now see two records in the database. So we can now delete the dummy entry. Highlight it and click delete entire highlighted entry. Click yes. Now we just have one entry. Click exit. Now you see the list of songs available in the database. Double click our new entry. Here you select the type of RTF you are using. We are using chords and lyrics. This procedure is only done the first time you load a song. And the song is scanned to recognize chords within the RTF. Now we will start the song playing and it will scroll at a predetermined speed. This method of scrolling is called timed scrolling. In a moment we will change the speed at which the song is scrolling. Click Settings, Item Settings, and here we can change the scrolling speed. So we've increased it a little. Click Save Settings. The song will reload. If we now start the song scrolling, you will notice it is scrolling faster than the previous time. Now we will show you an alternative way of entering a new song. Click Items. At the bottom of the list, add a new song or item. Here you go through the five steps of entering a song. Here we are going to enter the Beatles, All You Need Is Love. So we enter the title of the song. Then click Next. Now we enter the artist's name. Click Next. Double click to select the RTF, click Next, double click to select the backing track, click Next. You can now abort or enter the item, having checked the parameters. So we save the song. Now you see two entries. We select the Beatles song and click Chords and Lyrics. Again a scan of the chords takes place. And if we set the song scrolling, it will default to the standard scrolling speed. In the next video, we will show you how we change all the parameters for a song. As you can see here, you can set the type of scrolling, the speed of scrolling, and many other parameters. 
You can also turn on and off the guitar chord fingering charts. Here I will turn them on. Save the item settings and the song will reload. Thank you for watching this demo. 